Hi, I'm Old Sneaklock. Welcome to another episode of Old Sneaklock's Workshop. Now that I'm back in reasonably good condition and I've managed to get through some of the projects and situations that I had going, I'm going to get back to thinning the herd. I came down to the shop and <laughs> it's like a bomb went off. Of course, I've been gone for a month. I haven't done anything down here and it, things just keep coming in the door and piling up on the benches and it's just getting worse. So today, I'm going to sacrifice this Craftsman plane. Now, I picked this one up because I thought it's really a nice plane. It's a good size. It's a number four size. They call this a smoothing plane. Nine inches long, has a two inch blade. That means it's, it's perfect for those small jobs and also for the large jobs where you want to smooth off a large section, but you don't want to have to take off the whole thing just to get it down one little spot, one little defect. You can use this to go in and spot smooth a small piece of the of the board without doing a whole table over again. Now, before you get confused, this is called a smoothing plane. About the size of a Stanley number four. This would be a number five plane, uh, Stanley Bailey number five, and it is more called a jack plane. It's for uh, intermediate work, you know, larger things. You can use this as a joiner, it doesn't work as well as the big number seven, but you can pick up a number five for about a third of the cost of number seven. And if you're not doing a whole lot of large projects, you're probably never going to need a number seven, especially a number eight. Uh, I have one just because I wanted one, but it's not something that you use a lot. This number four, on the other hand, will do all the jobs that the average guy in the average shop is going to need. It'll plane off everything that you want to plane. Uh, if you're careful, you can joint with it. it. It works a really good job on smoothing small sections. But this is a nice size plane. It's heavy. Now some people think, well, a heavy plane wouldn't be good. But a heavy plane doesn't hesitate. When you're cutting, it'll have some power to it. Because once you get it moving, it wants to stay moving. It's not, not going to do the, the jump and, and jitter. This is from the 50s, back when they actually made things out of cast iron and meant it. Now, the plane blade is sharp. I haven't taken it to a razor edge, but this is one that I don't use much because it was kind of more of a thing of, it's a craftsman. Craftsmen are just collectible and I didn't want to yank it around and beat it up too much. But it's a good working plane nice thing about it is it has plastic handles. Now if, when you go to Harbor Freight and pick up a plastic handled plane, the handles wobble. This is back when they wanted to make something that actually worked. This is made in the USA and Craftsman had a name back then that they wanted to keep. This knob and this handle uh, have lasted nearly 70 years and I'm sure will last another 70 without any more damage than what you see here. This was a plane that was used. It's not abused. There's no dents, dings, cracks, or chips in it anywhere. Like I said, the blade is sharp, but I haven't given it a razor edge. It's a good working plane, and if you'd like to have this one, it's going to be listed on eBay, and I'll put a link in the description so that you can go take a look at it. There's going to be more planes coming. About, uh, I was doing one a week, and I think one a week is too slow. I'm going to go through as many planes as I possibly can and list them all just as short as time as possible. I also have uh, braces and bits and bit sets 
and chisels and all kinds of things. I've got just too much stuff, so I gotta thin the herd. If you have any suggestions for a new video, questions about today's video, or any of the other videos on the channel, just drop a note in the comments. You know I read them all. Thanks for watching. This video is not to be viewed by anyone under the age of 13 in the U.S. or 16 in the European Union without the express written permission of the parents or legal guardians of the underage person. Such written permission must be on file at the local government entity in charge of enforcing the rules and regulations established by the FTC. Anyone violating these terms is admitting by default that they hold harmless the owners and operators of this channel. Any and all questions should be addressed to your local branch of the FTC.